Our skeleton supports our muscles, ligaments and nerves. It also protects our organs, but it is much more than just a scaffold. It is a living organ that is very dynamic. It is designed to absorb impact and can flex and stretch as we move. It grows with us, changing and adapting in response to various situations, such as during times of different nutritional needs or after an injury, where bones may need to repair. And it also decays with us. We could better understand the impact of our bones on our health and well-being if we could get deep inside a bone and see the rigid structure that gives bones their shape and to watch the microscopic changes that happen in response to different situations. Inside our bones you would see a dynamic and crowded space, packed with many different types of cells, each with an individual role, but working together to keep you healthy. Some cells here in the bone marrow divide and enter the blood circulation to become red blood cells. Others mature from stem cells to become part of the immune system. You can see the bone structure itself is made up of a calcified matrix. This is made up of collagen and minerals. The cells that form part of the bone matrix are called osteocytes. On the surface of the bone, you can see two main types of cells that constantly work together in a delicate balance to remodel and repair bone. Here you can see the osteoclasts resorbing bone. These cells work together with osteoblasts that can be seen here building new bone. During growth and development, more bone is built than is resorbed, allowing our bones to lengthen and strengthen. But this relies on adequate weight-bearing exercise and appropriate nutrition. It is only up to about 30 years of age that we can increase the strength and density of our bones. After this time, our bones start to decay. This means that bones that do not experience enough exercise and do not receive enough calcium and vitamin D during the critical years are less dense, weaker and more likely to develop osteoporosis and fracture. There are some medications that can help manage osteoporosis and researchers are working hard to find ways to reverse the biological bone clock and to prevent and treat excess bone decay. However, it is still a major health concern and the message is clear to invest early in bone health, before it's too late. Thank you.